Hey, Slater Crusaders, America's the greatest country in the world. Thanks so much for being here. There was nothing to show you from the Supreme Court hearings yesterday. There's not a single clip worth playing. And today, each senator gets 30 minutes to question Barrett. I, yesterday, I said it was 20 minutes. It's 30. This will be excruciating to watch. I mean, we'll play some highlights tomorrow, but just do not inflict upon yourself the torture of watching Amy Klobuchar pompously grandstanding for 30 minutes. Like, there's 10,000 things I'd rather do today than watch Cory Booker. And it's gonna have zero impact upon the election. Like, today will have zero impact. I mean, maybe the, the hearings in general will, but, but today, like, whatever. Do you remember when Trump had COVID? <laughs> that was like 10 days ago, and the, the media had him on his deathbed. And I remember when this happened, I was like, don't, like, I, I think I wrote on Twitter, I said, this won't even be a blip on the radar in 29 days on election day. And here already, we're 10 days after he got COVID and like, it's nothing. Again, the media had him on his deathbed and look at the man last night in Florida. <laughs> He's loving it. He's having a blast. Meanwhile, here's Biden, poor guy, in Ohio yesterday. Oh, oh, <laughs> that hurts. Again, Trump last night. But now they say I'm immune. I can feel, I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that audience. I'll walk in there. I'll kiss everyone in that audience. I'll kiss the guys and the beautiful women and um, everybody. I'll just give you a big fat kiss. No, but there is something. <laughs> and then here's Biden in Arizona. There's really not much to see. Um, I'll step out of the way, but it's kind of boring out here. So it's not your typical cam <laughs> presidential campaign event. We don't see people rallying outside. We don't see um, signs or really uh, much of what's going on. Although she's like, I mean, I'll step aside, but I mean, <laughs> not the Biden is politically so fortunate for COVID because he would only have rallies like that if it weren't for COVID. But now he can pass it off as like, oh, um, safety precautions. Yeah, uh, no one's here because of, uh, you know, Social distance, we just want to be safe. Listen, a uh, reporter, a local reporter, asked Biden, he said, listen, 56% of Americans just said that they're economically better off today than four years ago. Why should they vote for you? And Biden yesterday said, well, if they think that, then they probably shouldn't. And I agree. I stand by my claim. For every one person who voted for Trump in 2016 and is not going to vote for him now because he's too mean or whatever, there's 10 people who did not vote for Trump in 2016 because they were a Rubio fan or a Cruz supporter or Jeb or uh, they, didn't, you know, they thought maybe he was a Democrat in disguise or something. So for, there's 10 people who didn't vote for him in 2016 who will now. That's my theory. I'm not worried, but gosh, we'll find out soon. Wow. That was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.